versus K9. Um, I'm assuming oh, yeah. it's Zan's game, game one. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. So, they've struck to Smashville. Surprise, surprise. Yep. K9, I know, likes the stage, and, well, everyone likes the stage. Everyone I mean, come on. It. It's like the best thing Brawl ever made. So, although K9 would probably object and say that Meta Knight is, but Ty just killed one of those Meta Knights. He's lucky that platform was up there to land on, because otherwise that would have been a really tricky edge guard situation for him to get out of. Cannon gets into the down air, pops him up with an up air, and shuttle loop. Straight up to outer space with him. So Ty gets a grab. It's a good neutral air, but K9 still has multiple jumps. I think part of the uh, reason that Ty has trouble in this matchup is that He's used to being able to pop a character up and wait for them to use their jump, then pop them up again and juggle them. But Meta Knight has way too many jumps to do that. Um, there, he just has to play. It's kind of he, all he has guaranteed is like what he would have guaranteed against Jigglypuff and Melee. It's not very much. Um, and K9 is really, really fast, too. So that makes it a lot harder to make up for compared to a Jigglypuff and Melee. So do you think do you think Kai has learned enough and that he can take it back? Um, I definitely don't... Oh, wow. That, I don't think he's taking this match back after that, but... Um, yeah, that's set right. I, I certainly think that... Uh, Ty has uh, done some work here. I'm not sure his matchup knowledge is still that great, but he's able to just kind of put his sword where it needs to be. Um, he's had a lot of experience against K9 specifically, because they uh, they tend to run into each other a lot in tournaments, like right. they just did. Um, if I had to give one player an edge, though, I would probably say... Just based on their recent history. Uh, and he doesn't go for the pivot. I I think that's a smart move, because I it looked like it was really close, but I'm not sure it would have hit. Um, I'm referring to forward throw to pivot tipper forward smash. It's a very nice kill option against characters who Marth doesn't have more guaranteed combos on. Um, because you can mix up their DI by either down throwing them or forward throwing them. The thing is, in PM, it's less of a mix up. Uh, the down throw doesn't work quite as well as it does in melee, and the forward throw works better than it did in melee. So, that's interesting. The DI is a bit more predictable for it. I thought that was an interesting design choice. Uh, I figured it was a more interesting, more competitive way to do things to make them 50-50 options and right. force the opponent to guess, give them the mind games. But they they made a similar decision with uh, Falco's recovery where they buffed his side B and nerfed his up B. And I'm still not really sure why that decision was made either. Um, Falco's recovery is predictable enough as it was. Huh. And especially considering it didn't get really much of a distance buff, I, I guess I kind of have a beef with that. But regardless, we've got Fox now instead of Mark yeah, against K9's Meta Knight. Um, and 
That was a really Ty good Ty has been uh, working his Fox up specifically for PM because he feels that he doesn't quite have as good of a handle on a lot of the PM matchups as Mark. Um, there are a lot of characters who can get around the standard Marth stuff now. And he wants a little bit more maneuverability, a little bit more versatility in his play style to be able to deal with whatever new stuff is thrown at him. Yeah, definitely. Marth didn't really get any direct nerfs, but just the cast was buffed around him, which definitely makes him worse. For sure. Um, I'll still say that he is a very elegant, versatile character, and he is viable in, uh, against well, pretty much any character. But I, I definitely think that uh, Fox might be a better option for Ty in this matchup. Um, Meta Knight does a lot of the same thing as Marth does, really. He uh, controls a lot of space. He has long physical range, even though he doesn't have projectiles. But he has more jumps. And he has a better recovery in a number of things that go in his favor. So I think Ty uh, also likes that he has better like, micro control. He doesn't have to swing predictively with Fox. Right. Like he would with Marth. Um, he's he doesn't control quite as much space with a, a single move, but he's able to maneuver himself around Canine's moves to negate that disadvantage. It's very even right now. Yeah. They're just trading hits, waiting for the combo that well, will actually lead like, to a kill move. I feel like an up smash could maybe do Meta Knight in right now. It's pretty strong. And he's been fishing for it, but hasn't quite landed it yet. There we go. There we go. Oh, but he got popped up. He's getting juggled, and that's a shuttle loop. Yep. Wow. Got him with the aerial at the end of the shuttle loop. The uh, glide aerial. The glare. The glare? The glare. Yeah, that's what it's called. I didn't know what it was called, but now it's an, I do. it's an unfortunate name. But. <laughs> I like it though, easy to remember. Fair, yeah. Fair, fair, fair. Where? G Lair. G Lair. Uh oh, this is bad news for Ty. Okay. His recovery was just long enough that uh, K9's up smash knocked him in the opposite direction of offstage. Um, one of your first um, priorities when you're gonna get hit with a move is. That's fine. One of your best options when you're when you know you're gonna hit with a move is to try and uh, DI so that it hits you in the opposite direction that the opponent intends. That's two out of three. Oh, we're 